Hi, I'm Representative Matt Erpelding, and today on Earth Talks, I'm going to fill you in on the importance of protecting the 1995 Nuclear Settlement Agreement. It's a nonpartisan issue, and it's important to every Idahoan. Spanning 400 miles from east to west, the Snake River Aquifer is an essential water resource for all of Idaho. And right now, there are 308 metric tons of nuclear waste, including 900,000 gallons of highly radioactive liquid waste sitting right on top of the aquifer. Yeah, not great. This is how it happened. During World War II, the federal government began shipping nuclear waste to Idaho without permission. And then in 1970, Governor Andrus began pushing back on the federal government for their frequent and illegal dumping. And in 1974, Governor Andrus received in writing from the feds that all nuclear waste would be removed from the state of Idaho by the end of the decade. But then, a mere five years later, after the Three Mile Island reactor melted down, the federal government again broke their promise and began shipping nuclear waste to Idaho. Then, in the 80s, Governor Evans had to demand that the federal government stop injecting radioactive water into wells directly above the aquifer. Seriously. And in 1989, 15 years after the feds first broke their promise to Idaho, Governor Andrus again took matters into his hands. He blocked a shipment of nuclear waste from Rocky Flats, Colorado by placing a state patrol car on the tracks just outside of Idaho Falls. In 1995, Governor Phil Batt signed the nuclear agreement, the first of its kind in the nation and one that would protect Idahoans from nuclear waste. After 25 years of pressuring the federal government to stop dumping nuclear waste in Idaho, this is how we got the 1995 Nuclear Settlement Agreement. So, what does this agreement hold the federal government accountable to? The federal government must remove all spent nuclear waste by 2035. They must also treat all high-level waste at the site for the 2035 disposal deadline. And, more urgently, the feds must remove all transuranic waste from Idaho no later than December 31st, 2018. Yep, that's less than a year away. And that's why the feds are pressuring Idaho to modify the terms of the agreement rather than just getting the job done. Modifying the agreement puts Idaho at risk. If any of that waste was to leak into the aquifer and ultimately into the Snake River, it could ruin our drinking water and agricultural resources to say the least. The next governor is critical to the nuclear agreement and whether it stands or falls. I'm asking you to contact every candidate for governor, Democrat and Republican. Get them on record opposing any changes to the 1995 nuclear agreement. Contact them through Facebook, through Twitter, email, paper letter, phone calls, carrier pigeon, whatever it takes, do it.